many people have expressed frustrations with getting um, good output levels on the R24, R16, R8 series. One of the things that I propose is using um, a free tool called Audacity to um, normalize as opposed to adding compression um, in order to change the relative volume and then squashing anything that might be out of bounds. Um, in an earlier video, I demonstrated a way to um, reduce the amount of noise um, when you record. One of the good things about reducing the amount of noise when you record is that you should be able to amplify your sound without introducing any artifacts or any noise that was on your um, initial recording. So, if that theory holds true, I should be able to take this and amplify the volume and not really experience any issues. So, I have this track that I did um, that I recorded and mastered um, using the um, R24. Let's hear a little bit of it. So what you see um, is it's actually leveling out at about um, negative 16 dB and at its loudest it's roughly at negative 12 dB. So when I've taken it over to Friends um, Studios and I plugged it in, um, we actually had to crank the gain a little bit on the mixing board which was only slightly embarrassing. Um, so. Um, Audacity, which is a free tool, offers two different things that you can do um, to your um, uh, stereo wave file. One of the things that you can do is um, amplify it. So when you say amplify, it just generically makes the whole thing louder. One of the things that I actually prefer is normalize. What normalize will do is um, you know, if anything is off center, it'll basically center it along this zero line for starters. And then um, it'll tell you tell it what the what you want the maximum amplitude to be. So a lot of times with compression, um, you can actually raise the floor a little bit, um, you know, in terms of just making everything loud and then squashing it. And you can lose some of the dynamics. Uh, what normalize does is it basically makes everything relatively louder so that it peaks. The peaks are, you know, where you want it to be. And here, I want my peaks to be at um, negative zero dB. So when I say normalize, you can see the entire wave just got louder. Um, this red line here indicates um, clipping on these two, um, in these three spaces. Um, this is actually where a crash symbol is. Um, so in playback, when I was listening to it, you can tell if there's a crash. You can't really tell that there's any clipping that goes on, and that's fine. In the event that there was clipping, what I probably would have done was undo it and then normalize it. Um, and instead of doing it at 0 dB, um, maybe a little bit closer. So let's take a listen to this. As you can tell, all of my dynamics are still there. Down on your knees. And for a moment you could hardly breathe. Wondering was she really there? There's no noise at it.
not going to play the whole song, but this is where the drums kick in, and you can see that it's going to um, really take it closer to your zero dB. Actually monitoring this, um, I have my laptop run through um, my uh, R24, and I'm seeing the same things in terms of metering. Whereas the original was, um, you know, just flickering in the negative 48. Um, at the highest, maybe at the negative um, 12. Now everything is pushed up to negative six and zero dB. So. Hopefully, you know, this will um, help you guys that have been suffering and struggling with some of the same problems that I've been. Thanks for watching.